young is too young to get suspended from school? Some new numbers out overnight from the Department of Education show that nationwide thousands of preschoolers, preschoolers are getting suspended. And a disproportionate number of those children are black. Naomi Peskovitz joins us now mm -hmm. with more on what this report shows, Naomi. Yeah, and guys, we've done a lot of stories on this over the past few months. There's local groups that say they think that these suspensions are too severe, the mm -hmm. punishments are just too extreme, too harsh and that minority students really are getting the brunt of this and they're getting suspended more often. And this data really proves that on a more national scale. Earlier this year, the Obama administration encouraged schools to do away with more extreme types of discipline, like suspensions. And later today, the education secretary and the attorney general will go to a school in Washington to announce these new numbers. Now here's what the data shows. Nationally, one million kids were enrolled in public preschool during the 2011-2012 school year. During that time, 5,000 preschoolers were suspended once. That's a lot. At least 2,500 preschoolers were suspended more than once. And though only about 18% of the children in those programs were black, more than half of the students who were suspended more than once were black. Here in Minnesota, that nonprofit group known as Isaiah is made up of educators and faith leaders, and their goal is to stop all nonviolent suspensions from behavior problems. The group recently rallied at the Capitol with that message. The state education department says in 2012, about 50,000 kids were suspended, expelled, or excluded. About 60% of those were minorities. Now more on that national data coming out today. When it looks at all age groups, black students were suspended and expelled at three times the rate of white children. And guys, that's where advocates say there really is a serious problem here. The disparity just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, suspensions have been around for a long time. I know mm -hmm. they were around when I was going to school. Same here. It might have happened. <laughs> um, I mean, are there some other ideas on the table for, for what they could How do with the schools? Yeah. Right. Well, they really want to remove it from a courtroom feel where, you know, you commit a crime and then you're punished to a conversation. So maybe your teacher pulls you aside, a principal pulls you aside, you talk it out instead of actually removing the student from the classroom altogether because then they aren't learning. Sure. I know it's a challenge. My in-laws were both educators for many, many years, and it's it's a really delicate balance pulling the kid aside, and then are you, you know, bringing singling attention to the out. fact and singling mm -hmm. them out, and it's hard. It's mm -hmm. hard. You're dealing with young kids that are learning. Right. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's, it's a challenge for everyone involved, so no easy answer, that's for sure, Naomi.